Hi everyone, my name is Ivy and today I will be showing you how to create your very own coloring book pages using Canva. In addition, towards the end of the video, I will be sharing with you some bonus tips and tricks, so make sure you stay until the end so you won't miss out on them. If you're brand new to KDP, I would actually recommend you start off by watching my step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create a KDP journal first, because in that video, I will show you all the foundational knowledge you need to have in order to get started with KDP properly. And also, if you haven't already done so, please make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on any any of my future KDP content videos. And with that said, let's get started. Okay, so the first way I'm going to show you is within Canva. You can come to templates and within templates, you can actually search for coloring pages and see there are a number of different templates you can actually choose from and they're all already done for you. So for example, if I want to pick this one, I just click it in and you just have to make sure you move it within your margins or resize it um, to make sure all the little things are within margin. But this is one easy way or you can just take one element, delete everything else. Let's say I just want to keep this B, I'll delete this and then I can make the B fill the whole page. Okay, the second way I'm going to show you is also going to be within Canva, but now instead of coming into templates, we're going to come into elements. So within elements, we can really search for anything we want. And so what we can do is do, let's try coloring sheets as well. And we will see various black and white um, graphics that we could use. Or if we have a specific thing in mind, we could try black and white dog. And you'll see there could be, and you'll see other black and white animals too that we could use. Or black and white food. And you'll see black and white food. Oops. So this is the second way. And like I was showing you earlier, if you just want one graphic to take up the whole page, all you need to do is to drag it out. But just make sure you don't go over the margins. Make sure you stay within the margins. There you go. And now let's say within Canva, you were not able to find any black and white images that you want to use for your coloring book. Then you can come to a website called pixabay.com, P-I-X-A-B-A-Y.com. And within this website, you'll be able to search for any type of free images, all royalty free that you could potentially use for your coloring book. So under images, if you're making coloring books, you could either try vector graphics or illustrations. So let's try illustrations. And let's say I want to do a sloth image. So we can come here and we see a lot of sloths, but most of them have color. There are some black and whites that we can use. So let's say, let's say we want this one. So as you can see, it says free for commercial use, no attribution required, which is great for our purposes. So let's click on free download and download. I'm not a robot. And there you go. So now we're going to come back into our coloring book and let's say remove this one. We're going to go to uploads and we're going to upload that file that we had just downloaded. Oh, there it is. And see, we just moved the image from Pixabay into Canva. And here is another coloring page. Okay, and if you've managed to stick around until now, I'm going to show you the most important bonus tip of all. So let's come back to Pixabay and go back here. And remember how when we searched for sloth, we only saw a few black and white images and most of them a color. So this trick that I'm going to show you is we want to look for images that we like, but that have a black outline around it, which we will 
turn into a coloring page. So these are great candidates. These are good too. This one, not so much because there isn't a very clear black outline around it. This one is great. This one's great. So let's pick a few of these. So let's say I want this one. And once again, free for commercial use, no attribution required. Great. I'm going to download it. Let's download another one just so I can show you. Once again, free for commercial use, no attribution required. Wonderful. Download. And let's do one last one. This one's really cute. Free download. Download. Awesome. So we have all three downloaded in my downloads folder. Now we're going to come back into Canva and let's um, create a new page. And now we're going to upload the three images that we had just downloaded. So I believe it would be these last three. Open. Okay, and so now let's put one of them in here. So let's take this one first. And what we're going to do, and as you can see, this is colored. So we can't put this in a coloring book because then there's really nothing to color. Plus, we're going to print in black and white, so this would not show up very nicely. So what we're going to do is come here, go to Edit Image, and then you'll see this photogenic um, icon. Click on the photogenic icon, scroll all the way down until you see mono, and we're going to click on classic. Okay, so now it's all grayscale, but it's not quite good enough because the inside still looks like there's a light gray. So we're going to click apply first, and now click on the image again, edit image. And we're going to go to adjust. So once we go to adjust, we come down to contrast and we're going to move it all the way here and look at the image. As we move it, the inside turns all white. And there we go. This now we've turned it from a colored image to yet another coloring page. And as a bonus bonus tip, I'm going to show you one extra design tip that you can make your coloring pages stand out from other people. So right now you'll see this one, um, just a sloth sitting on a white page, which looks great, but you can also try to add some black and white background, pattern background behind it to make it look more interesting. So let's say I find this background put it over it and now send it to the back. This is another way to make your coloring page look more interesting than just a white background. So I hope you enjoyed this video and the tips that I just provided to you on how to create your own unique coloring pages. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you next time.